Welcome back to Airsoft GI TV. This is Tim. Today we're going to mix it up a little bit. There's a couple of G4 models that don't have videos. Instead of doing features on each one, I'm just going to knock them all out all at once. First up, we've got the Airsoft GI G4A5 DMR. This gun features a 12 inch URX rail system with a built in front sight. It has a one piece, very solid 20 inch barrel with a low profile gas block to get underneath that URX rail system. Inside is a 6.03 tight bore barrel. It's a 509 length, so it's an M16 length barrel in there. This is the only gun of the uh, G4 series that's really sniper ready right out of the box with that tight bore barrel. Definitely going to increase range and accuracy over a standard G4 model. Next up we have the G4A4. This is a really lightweight carbine with a one piece barrel. The uh, Magpul MOE handguards, pistol grip and stock add a really nice uh, finishing touch on it. It's the only G4 model that's wired to the front so you can put the battery in the front handguard if it's a mini battery in there. No crane stock because of that MOE stock in the back. Um, and it doesn't come with the Magpul rails but you can definitely add those on for not that much more. Last but not least we have this thing right here. This is the G4A1 Mod Zero. Essentially the same thing as the original G4A1 except we changed the rail system up. It's still a free float rail system but it doesn't have the bridge for the uh, top rail. It still has the convertible barrel so you can shorten this thing down to make it easier for CQB. We didn't include any iron sights with this thing because we threw in the red dot sight. This is the only G4 model that comes with an optic. This is an NC Star red dot really great addition as far as looks and performance wise that's it for now if there's any new G4 models coming up in the future you're gonna see them first right here on GITV